Hello everyone. Today we will learn how to integrate in-app purchases in an Android application. We will implement it natively by using Google Play billing library and will not use any third party library. So the very first step is to create a project in Android Studio. Then in the build.gradle file, add this dependency and sync the project. In the main activity, I have already prepared the whole code and have added some useful comments. So I will give you only a high level overview of the code. So let's start. In onCreate method, I am calling setup billing client method. In this method, we are initializing a billing client instance, which is the main interface for communication between the Google Play billing library and the rest of your app. In the next line, I am calling start connection method. This method establishes a connection to Google Play. In this piece of code, I am inquiring all the products or items that we have purchased or purchasing and returning in a list. Then here we are checking the list. If the list is empty, then we are making a boolean false in the shared preferences. This means that the user have not purchased the product. So here you can see that we are having two methods. This method is setting boolean value in the shared preferences while this method is getting back that value. So here if purchase list is not empty then we process it. In handle purchases method, here in the for loop, I am traversing the product list. And if a product is purchased, validated and acknowledged, then we are making the boolean value to true in the shared preferences. Based on this boolean value, you can give premium features of your app to the user. In this case, we are just changing the text to you, text to you have successfully subscribed. Its original value in the XML file is you have not subscribed if a user upgraded by purchasing the product, then we change its value to you have successfully subscribed. So this is how we set up a billing client and handle the products that a, that a user wants to purchase. Now, in the XML file, you can see there is a button purchase item. When this button is clicked, we are calling purchase method. In this method, if we are checking, if a billing client is not initialized, we initialized it and then start the purchase process. And if it is already initialized and ready, then we directly call initiate purchase method. In this method, you can see that we are setting product ID and product type. Product ID is a string variable having in a purchase test item value. This is basically 
ID of a product in the Google Play Console. We will create a product in the Google Play Console having this ID later on. Here we are setting product type to subs. Basically products are of two types. One time products which are purchased only once. And some products are subscription based products which are renewed after some specific interval of time. So here we are setting product type to subscription based product. Then here you can see that main activity is implementing purchase updated listener interface. This interface is having this method on purchases updated Google Play call this method to deliver the result of the purchase operation to a listener that implements the purchase updated listener interface. This is in this case is main activity. The listener is specified using the set listener method when you initialize your client. Here you can see we are initializing a variable which shows whether a product is acknowledged or not. So if a product is purchased successfully and the return code is OK, then we are setting Boolean value to true in the shared preferences. In the last, here we are making some validation. So in this piece of code, we are verifying that the purchase was signed correctly for this developer public key. Usually it is recommended to do this type of validation on your own server. So this was the whole code for in a purchases. Now in the second part of this video, we will create a product in Google developer console having this ID. So now let's switch to Google Developer Console. Now I am in Google Play Console. Here I am creating an application. Give it a name. In a purchase test. Then select app free and accept the policies and then create the application. Since I have already created the application, so I am canceling it and going to that application. My in a purchase test. This is the application that I have already created. So going to this application, then going to testing and internal testing. So here I am creating a release for internal testing. Create new release. And now it requires a signed APK of the application. So go to Android Studio. Go to Build. Generate signed bundle and follow the steps. It will create a signed APK of the application. Then just drag and drop that APK here. Since I have already uploaded it, so I am discarding it. Now in testers, here you can see that I have added a list of testers. If you are having more than one tester, then you can also upload a CSV file having email IDs of the testers. Or you can also add email IDs here one by one, separated by comma. Now in the next step, I am going to create a subscription based product. So going to products, subscriptions, and here you can see that I have already created a product 
now i am going to create a second product the e, the id of this product is in a purchase test item this is exact this is exactly the same id as this one so i am creating a new product so i will have to change this id also so i am adding here, here 0 1 copy this id and now go to google play console and click create subscription here paste the id and give it a name and click create button so we have created a subscription based product now here you can add some benefits of the subscription you can add let's say benefit zero one this is just a test subscription and save the changes now go back to subscription and add a base plan so give it id let's say plan underscore one select auto renewing and billing period is monthly grace period seven days you can also change these values from here and set prices all regions and set price let's say 100 pkr and update it So here it's giving some error. We should replace underscore with hyphen. And I think now it should work. Save it. Now again go back to subscription. Here you can also add some offers. I am just skipping it. And here I am activating the subscription. So here click activate base plan click activate again and now the subs subscription is activated now in the next step you will have to add license testing so here search license and click license testing so here you can also see that I have added email ID of the tester. You can also upload a CSV for file for the testers. So license testing will allow you to test your application without real credit or debit card. The last thing is this public key. You can find this public key for your application by going to monetization setup and go down under licensing here you can find this key so this is how we can create a subscription based product in google play console now i am going to test the application this is the application that i have installed let's open it and click purchase item button here you can see a pop-up for purchasing the product and you can also see test card. It's because that I have configured license testing in Google Play Console. So click subscribe button. So I have successfully purchased the product and this subscription will make the boolean value to true in the shared preferences.
now if i close the application and open it again this text value will be changed so let's close the application and open it again so you can see that the text value has been changed so this is how in a purchases works in android if you have any question in the code or creating products in google play console you can ask in the comment section also like the video and subscribe to channel that's it for this tutorial thank you